Hey everyone, Joe here. Sorry about, um, I found my camera. The tripod is wonky, so I'm down here instead of up here. But um, those of you who are my friends on Facebook know this. Um, I'm just going to pass a message along. I've had a crazy ass week. The worst of it was Stanley was really, really sick. And we took him, I took him to the vet, the royal we. I'm speaking about myself. We went to the vet on Saturday and he got eardrops. He has an ear infection. And I thought he was going to die. He was just l like a rag doll for days and days and it was horrible. But look who's back in the land of the living. Look who's here. Oh, 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 oh. He doesn't like to be held, but I, every time I held him, I gave him eardrops, so he hated that. But he has suddenly sprung back to life and I'm so happy. You have no idea. Very, very happy. Okay, um, I'm leaving tomorrow morning to go on a three week road trip um, the final destination is sort of Victoria, B.C. for a wedding on Saturday the 9th. Um, and then my sister and I are going to go to Tofino, B.C. for a couple days. Then I'm going to go to Portland, Oregon to visit a friend. Or two, or three friends. Hopefully three friends. Stanley! So happy he's back in the land of the living. I'm really... Oh, I wish I could tilt this forward. It's screwed up. Anyway. I don't even know what this week's topic is. I think it's style, but I have not had any time this week for anything. And I didn't even think I was going to be able to make a video tonight. So <laughs> I'm just going to pretend it's style and pretend it's hairstyle. And it's going to be pretty lame and I'm really sorry. And I really want to welcome all the new people. I'm excited about the new people. I'm very sad about the old people not being here, but I'm very happy about the new people being here. And, um, oh, Stanley's purring and laying on my bed. He was hiding in the closet for weeks and okay um so style i have none i'm very 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 unfashionable um if i have a personal style i guess it's hippie um and or i wear the same thing every day i wear a tank top i wear a bra i wear a tank top i wear a collared shirt a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts and flip-flops usually and in the winter i wear uh, keens and or yeah or or my croc boots um, we are supposed to wear a collared shirt to work, but of course all the women in the department decided it didn't apply to them because my boss said, you know, we need to wear appropriate business casual or whatever because people are slobs where I work. And I'm a slob. Um, so I try and wear a collared shirt every day. I have a lot of men's shirts and I just throw them on. It's hardly fashion, but because I'm booby and because I'm all belly, it's kind of, but I'm hot. I like to wear a tank top, a collared shirt, cut does a little camouflage thing, I suppose. Oh my god, just so sweet. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay, that's slightly better. That's actually better. This is on a very perilous angle, but anyway. Okay, so, uh, my style. Well, what's this I'm wearing? Some Value Village jammy top, basically. The pants are floral, <laughs> hot pink floral. Yeah, jammy bottoms. I mean, really, this is, and I live, I live in the country, so I go outside a lot, like I'll be doing stuff around the house, and I'm dressed like this, like outdoors, and I don't even care. Sometimes it's kind of funny how, how, uh, the things that I will wear in public. I'm one of those people. I'll, I'll go out in my pajamas, doesn't bother me at all. I'll go out without my hair brushed. Actually, I went on a road trip one time over Christmas, a couple of years ago, and I forgot to pack a hairbrush, and because I lived on Christmas Eve I think and I didn't notice until the morning of the 25th when all the stores were closed and then I think it wasn't till later in the 20th it w I went three solid days without brushing my hair and it was really funny because it didn't even bother me and um people on my Facebook were freaking and saying like how can you go three hours without brushing your hair never mind three days why because I'm a hippie chick I was fashionable at one point in my life. Um, in the 90s, like I said in previous videos, I was quite androgynous. I had a shaved head and I liked to wear men's suits a lot. And that's not androgynous, actually, because the previous posters have mentioned this. That is actually attempting to be male, which is, you know, you would think androgynous would fall in the I don't know category, but this was definitely male. I think if anything, now I'm more androgynous. I have I have women's clothes and men's clothes in my, my closet. And... Um, mostly men's footwear. No, it's a, it's a mishmash. It's a crisscross because men's footwear is always better made. 
but women's footwear fits me better. I'm a size 8 ladies, which is a 6 men's, or 39 in a Burke or something like that. Anyway, um, a 6 men's is actually a boy's size, and boy's sizes are a little bit weird. That You can't always get them. Sometimes I get them in 7 and they're too big. So I'm sort of stuck with ladies' footwear on occasion. But it's it's sometimes it's one and sometimes it's the other. By the way, one of the reasons I'm so discombobulated today, because I'm leaving tomorrow. This morning, my cat was really sick, my toilet is broken, and my tire was flat. I just had a fuck of a day. Like a fuck of a day. Luckily, the tire repair was free, because the tires are still under warranty. Um, the toilet ran all day and used up half a cistern full of water, and it cost $68 per cistern out here. And I share, I split that bill with my neighbors, but because I used up the whole thing, actually it's been leaking for a while, and... I just gave them a check for 68 bucks, and I don't have that kind of money lying around. I'm going on vacation, and I didn't save up enough for the vacation, so I'm on a shoestring budget. However, I'm traveling with a frugal friend, and I'm kind of excited because um, she'll keep me in check. We can actually probably spend a lot less on this trip than I even planned for. I was kind of thinking about 75, 60 to 75 dollars a day. Like I was hoping the first 10 days I could spend 600 bucks, including gas and camping, if you can imagine. But that's because we're splitting the gas and we're splitting the camping fees. It is actually doable. I've always traveled alone, so I never knew, you know, I've always had a larger budget in my head. Anyhow, yeah, the toilet leaking and the, uh, and then Stanley got better. So the tire's fixed. I've turned the valve off the toilet for the time being. And uh, the tire's, the tire's fixed. Stanley's better. Toilet's okay. And I'm, a hap I'm almost all packed. I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, so style... I'm really sorry about this video being so bleh and I'm dressed like a total, I want to say Newf, but I think that's politically incorrect. In Canada, one of the provinces is Newfoundland and it's kind of an insult. When you want to insult someone, you call them a Newf, but not an insult, more, um, it's a little bit backwoodsy, a little bit hokey, uh, very strong accent perhaps, um, dresses a little bit funny, acts a little bit funny. I shouldn't say that. I have some great new friends. It's just uh, an expression in Canada. Okay, so uh, coming up on eight minutes. Holy crap! I talk about. I can talk a long time about nothing. Back when I was in politics, I remember um, I did this TV show called The Opinionators, and I had to. There was a panel of four of us, and we had to just discuss local issues. And uh, my friend Sean used to say to me, "Joe, you're really good when the red light goes on, uh, the video. When the red light's on the video camera, you know it's rolling, right?" And I come alive. And I can just keep talking at the video camera. This is a gift I've been blessed with. However, there were a couple of instances on the Opinionators where I fucked up. I ran out of things to say. And I remember one time kind of looking blankly at the camera and it flipped to someone else. Thank God someone picked up the, uh, the baton. There was another time I did this. Yeah, seriously, on TV. I was going to say national TV. It's like cable access, local cable access. But I'm always scratching my face. That is a bad habit of mine. I touch my face a lot. And um, it looks terrible on camera. But I, I never mind talking a lot about nothing. As you can see, eight, eight and a half minutes into this, and I've basically talked about nothing. Okay, so I'm going to be gone for the next three weeks. I may or may not be posting videos on Gender Queer Chat. Um, we have a large sub pool now, so hopefully if, if I can't make it, someone else will fill in on the Friday for me. But I'm going to attempt to make it. And if not this week, next weekend, for sure the week after, because I'll be traveling alone and I'll have lots of time. Um, but I'm going to this wedding and we're kind of pressed for time, so we'll see. Have a good week.